This video is intended to help you become an active and informed member of your or your family's health care team by teaching you how proper hand hygiene, which is the cleaning of hands, can protect you from the germs that cause infections. Though impossible to see, germs are easy to spread and many are spread from person to person. The simple act of touching another person or handling a common object can spread germs. Those invisible germs can then be spread to you or your loved one. It's clear that germs are just a part of our lives, but proper hand washing is the single most important way to prevent the spread of infection and keep you safe while staying in our hospital. You may see our healthcare staff using two common types of hand hygiene products, hand soap and water, and waterless alcohol hand rubs. Waterless alcohol hand rubs are products that are specially formulated to kill germs without the use of water. They come in the form of gels or foams and are applied directly to the hands and rubbed into the skin until dry. Both soap and water and waterless alcohol hand rubs are extremely effective at reducing the number of germs present on the skin. As an important member of your own health care team, you have the right to expect that everyone caring for you washes their hands prior to attending to you. Be aware of proper hand washing practices. If you do not see the doctor, nurse, or others wash their hands or use a waterless alcohol product when coming into your or your loved one's room to provide care, speak up. It's okay to ask them to. Hand washing with either soap and water or an alcohol product should be done by everyone when entering your room or before touching or administering care to you or your loved one, upon leaving your room if they have touched you or any object in the room. And one of the most exciting advances in hand hygiene is the development of new products that don't necessarily require soap or water or towels. Uh, Alcohol-based hand disinfectants are uh, the basis of these new products and they look like gels or foams. Hello Mr. Williams, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, thank you. I'm going to be checking your IV for you. Um, I don't remember seeing you wash your hands. I did Mr. Williams. I used a special waterless hand rub from that dispenser there on the wall. You mean the stuff you got out of that dispenser? That's going to kill the germs? Absolutely, and it works really well. It's a waterless hand rub, and it's been specially designed to kill the germs that can cause infection. Really? <laughs> I remember when all we had to use was soap and water. <laughs> we know that hand washing is the single most important way for disease transmission to be prevented, and your doctor knows how to wash their hands, and they're a good person to ask. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, Billy. How's that knee today? Pretty good. Good. Is the medication helping for the pain? Oh yes, he's feeling so much better. Great. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this knee, Billy. I'm just gonna move this over here, and I'm gonna roll your pant leg up just a little bit um, here. Like, I'm sorry, doctor, yeah. but I didn't see you wash your hands. You're right. Ah, thanks for telling me. Everyone should wash their hands before they examine a patient. Would you like to wash your hands with me? Okay. Okay. Do you know, I happen to have this in my pocket, and this is a waterless hand rub that requires no soap and water. Would you like some too, Mom? Sure. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the wall over here because we mount these near every doorway of every room so that we have access to wash our hands. So, just another way that we clean our hands here at the hospital. Get between the fingers. There you go. Get those fingernails. Every surface. That's how we do it. We hope the information and examples we have provided have helped you understand how proper hand hygiene can protect you and your loved ones from the germs that can cause infection. Be aware of proper hand washing practices. And remember, it's okay to ask if someone doesn't wash their hands. Your health just may depend on it.